Hi, it's Chicken Bone John here, and I'm just going to talk about doing bolt on necks for this style of thing. These are pre bought ukulele necks. I've had to glue the fretboard on, and I was a bit unhappy with how skinny this was and how floppy that was. So I laminated uh, a piece of walnut under there, and that's going to fit onto the box like that. Now, as you can see, there's no there's no heel, no dovetail or anything. Now, you could just glue it on, but that really would be uh, pretty insubstantial. What we're going to do is going to bolt it through here. You can see I've put a heel block in here. This had this uh, liner, which I glued in place, and I've just put a heel block... I don't really need one this end, but I thought if I'm doing the tailpiece or whatever, just a little bit of extra strength. So we've got that there. Now, how does this work? What we are going to do, we've got two holes drilled through here, and the bolts are going to fix into the heel here. And we can tighten them up with a spanner from the inside, or you could do it with an Allen key bolt. Okay, so what are these gonna fix into? This is our neck. What I've done, I've drilled a 10 mil hole right the way down through that heel, down to about here, did that on the drill press. And what we're gonna fix it in with, what we're gonna fix it in with are these. These are known as barrel bolts. These are left over from some Ikea furniture. That's an M6 bolt, and that's your barrel bolt. There's a screwdriver slot on there, so when you drop it in, you can align it. Now, I've already dropped a bolt down there. And you can see that's going to go thread into there when you do this you want to make sure that bolt isn't too long and it doesn't blow out the back of there so I drilled down here I marked it I think I'm 20 mil up here and 20 mil above there so I can get to fixing so I've dropped one bolt through there as I say that's the first one in there now the other one we're going to drop in now so all we do is take our barrel bolt. I'm going to put that in there so it doesn't drop all the way through. So I can drop that in. It's not going to... It doesn't need forcing. You don't want to make sure that that is a nice clear fit. Otherwise, you're going to split. your wrist splitting. This is not much round here to give it some strength. So I'm just going to pull the bolt out. Push it in a wee bit. And then if we watch, you can see here, the bolt is beginning to come through. So I can press that down a wee bit. It's just about there. So I can thread that on. If it doesn't properly align, you can take an ordinary flat screwdriver and get that to align so your bolt will go in. That's all there is to it. What I would do is run a little bit of super glue in there to keep that in place for when you fix it. And then that can be filled with a dowel and uh, you can cover that like with a heel cap, a little bit of veneer or plastic. Here's one we did earlier. Here are the holes with the, with the barrel bolts in them and I've plugged that. So all I need to do now Got a bolt and a washer there. Bolt and a washer here. I have to close the top, obviously. And then all I need to do, align that. And I can get those going, just get those going with my finger to get that to engage. And then I can put my spanner in there 
and tighten that up to get a, a nice snug fit. I'm not going to faff about fiddling about, it's a little bit fiddly, but you can see how that's achieved. So you get a nice strong fixing into that, you need a little heel block. This is the next one ready to go. As I say, we'll get that in position. I could put a spacer dowel in there, bit of wood, so it won't drop too far. But I think if I just run a little bit of super glue in there, that'll hold it. Just make sure you don't get it onto that thread. So I'll drop a bit of super glue in, probably take that out, put a bit of wax on, make sure it's in the right position, and then I can put my plug into there. So that's how you do a very simple bolt-on neck. You can do the same thing with a full acoustic style guitar neck, one with a heel, rather than have to do the complicated dovetail joint that acoustic guitars, you know, they're, they're traditionally made that way. A lot of manufacturers have gone for the bolt-on, especially, you know, really pioneered by people uh, like Taylor, making a quality guitar to prove that you could do. It. And of course, it's easy to take it out, adjust it, by just sanding the joint or putting the shim in. So there you go. Thanks for watching and bye for now.